All right, this is Fakafon. Uh, I've, si I've seen recently uh, a comment that was in one of my videos that uh, I'm not doing enough strategy games or racing games and I should do more. And that's true, I, I've, I don't think I've even done a single racing game. So I've checked in my stack of games and uh, I realized I don't have any racing games, save one. But uh, anyway, you'll see. So this is Fakafon's review of Pet Sports. Alright, so right off the bat, I know what some of you are gonna say. This looks amazing! I know! But, uh, yeah, Pet Sports is a game that's been done by Ubisoft, and it's about, well, dogs racing. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's a racing game. Uh, sort of, I guess. So, well, anyway, so you, uh, this is how the game works. You choose a dog, in this case I took a berger allemand, uh, what's it called in English? Ah, who cares, you know what it is, you can see it. Anyway, you choose your dog and then you... Hey, apparently my dog has worms. Uh, ah, he's fine. Anyway, so you choose the dog and then you go around your house and you can do some mini-games. Like, for example, you can uh, learn some tricks. Uh, you can go there and adopt some new dogs. Uh, you can play skip rope with him. Uh, you can also go there and change his clothes. Uh, <laughs> he wants attention. Alright, here you go, little doggy. Coochie coochie coo. Anyway, on the other side of the room, there's some more mini-games. Uh, if you go to... The Okay, go away Dimitri, daddy's busy. Uh, anyway, if you go to the other side of the room, you can... Go away! Jesus! If you go to the other... Get out! Uh, whatever, let's just play the first mini game. So this is the mini game. Basically you just go to the park and then you, uh, you throw balls at your dog because... As you all know, we always throw balls at our dogs. So yeah. And apparently you shoot it with a slingshot. But it's okay, because apparently your puppy's a professional and never misses the ball. And you're a professional too, because you never hit him on the head. So really, there's nothing to complain about when it comes to security, I guess. So anyway, you just throw the balls at the target. And if you're really good and always hit the target in the middle, uh, your dog starts doing some crazy moves. Like for example, a motherfucking backflip. Hey, remember when your dog did a backflip while catching a ball? I don't think so. And look at this move. Oh yeah! Can your dog do that? I wish my dog could do that. Hell, I wish I could do that. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's look at that again. Boo, motherfucker! Hang time! This game also has its, uh, like, own version of DDR. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, it's the skip rope mini game, and uh, well, you bring your dog outside in the parking lot because you know that's where you play skip rope. And basically, you just you choose the music, and uh, well, you uh, you do some skip rope on it, and you have some arrows that you have to use to do the right moves. <laughs> okay, he doesn't want to do that song. Ah, uh, you want to jazz, don't you? Nice choice. So anyway, here we go. So basically you just follow the arrows and do the correct moves and your dog is gonna do them and there we go. There's a little uh, bar that fills up on the right and just you keep it at its maximum and well you win the... you win. And uh... yeah... <sighs> I can never get that move right. God damn it! Anyway this game doesn't play using the keyboard, you can use the mouse and uh... If you use the ma Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit! Hey, remember when your dog did that? Man, man, this guy's a puppy and he's doing some freaking crazy moves, man! He's not even a full-fledged dog yet! See, this is why you play this game. You see some freaking puppies, like, fucking do some masterwork moves. Well, anyway, that's enough in this minigame. Let's move on. Uh, so this is the minigame where, you, where your do you teach your dog some new tricks. Now, this is really easy. Basically, what you have to do, you take your little uh, bone candy, you uh, do the little path without uh, without going outside, and then your dog learns the trick, and you give him a bone. It's really it's really easy to be honest, and it uh, it teaches your dog new tricks that he'll never do. Of course, when the difficulties go higher, the the path you have to take goes a little well. As you can see, it's a little harder, but it's still really easy to do. And honestly, if you miss, it's probably because you fell asleep or something. So anyway, this is the new move I taught him. Yeah, I can see the excitement. Do people actually make their dogs do that move? Well, anyway, this move sucked a little bit, but there's some other moves you can do. Like, for example, you can do a figure eight with your dog. Yeah. And you can also make him do a motherfucking backflip. And you can also make him do this. 
Um, whatever the hell that is. Okay, honestly, could you... Would you show this to your friends and say, Hey, I taught him how to chew his own leg. But there's also some other moves. For example, you can do this one. Uh... What the fuck was that? No, I'm serious. What the fuck was that? Did I actually teach him how to do that? No, I'm not giving him a candy for that piece of shit. Give the candy to your dog. Fuck that shit. Let's just move on to another mini game. Ah, this is better. This is the petting mini game where you just uh, go to your dog and pet him. See, uh, he he wants to be petted in a in a specific spot, so you click on that spot and you start to pet him, and he becomes happy. Really, it's a simple mini game, and it uh, it's cute. Uh, where's that? Oh, the paw. I've never heard of a dog who wanted to be petted on the paw. Usually my dog just puts his paw away when I do that. You can also make him move in other positions if you want to pet him in another position, I guess. So yeah, basically it's just that. You pet him in a couple of positions and you just... I quit. I quit. No thank you. Okay, okay, fine, I won't quit, but just for the record, I'm never showing that clip ever again in my entire life. Okay, we're clear on that? Good, let's move on, and let's never speak of this again. So, completely forgetting what we just saw, uh, so this is where you can adopt some new puppies. So, let's say you're not content with just having one puppy, you can get some more puppies. Now the problem with this is that all your, the other puppies are not trained, so when you're going to do some races, they're not going to be as strong as your first puppy. And anyway, this puppy is way too small, so we're going to adopt another one. Like for example, this polar bear, apparently. Anyway, once you've got your puppy, then you can dress him up. And this is the portion of the game I like to call humiliating your dog. Because it seems no matter what you do, your dog will always look like a flaming douchebag. Nah, actually I'm being a bit unfair with this. I mean, yeah, most of the time your dog's gonna look like an idiot, but I've been experimenting around with the clothes a little bit, and I have managed to do something really cool. Say hello to Charlie the Mafioso Dog. Oh yeah! Well, anyway, I think I've done enough beating around the bush for now. Let's get to the main focus of the game, the races. Now, of course, when you do the first races, first races, it's only like some training races, so you're not gonna get a lot of obstacles, and I think at the first races you don't even get opponents. So anyway, this is just for practice. Uh, the way I play, because the, my keyboard doesn't work with this game, I have to shake the mouse right and left, uh, left and right to make my dog run. And uh, as, whoa, 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 freeze frame! Is this my audience? What the hell? That's not even a cardboard dog. That's like a I don't know what the hell this is! Who's yelling and cheering? Who's clapping? There's no one around except these! Ah. <laughs> anyway, so when you do the races, you race against some other dogs and you have a couple of obstacles that you have to overcome, like for example some cones you have to go over, or there's also some like uh, things that go out of the ground that you have to dodge, or like uh, fences you have to jump over. And when you get to the fur when you get to the end, of course, you win because it's an easy game, and you get first place and you get the gold medal. And if you're really good and really fast, you can beat the record and win a platinum trophy. But doesn't the platinum trophy look exactly like the bronze trophy? Well anyway, that's pretty much the end of the review. So this is all you do in the game. Basically you just uh, you know uh, pet your dog, dress him up, make him race against the stupidest looking dogs in the world. And yeah, so uh, do I recommend this game? I don't know, to be honest, uh, you should probably ask kids or something, because uh, this is way past my age. Well, anyway, see you on the flip side. <coughs> now, originally, this is where I intended to, f to end my review, <clears throat> but uh, I continued playing a little bit, and uh, I just saw some weird stuff, <coughs> and, I <decided> to <coughs> and I decided to show you, because it's just worth looking at. So, when you keep racing, you see those dogs, and they're just, they look really weird. Check it out.
You want the cookie? You want the cookie? You guys are still here, huh? Get out. Review's over. Gucci, Gucci, Goo. Get out.